Hello, all my merrymakers. I am Becca, and you're not in the regular spot because I forgot to set up the way I normally set up. And this is all the things Thursday. In case you are new here, this is the norm. And all the things Thursday is my weekly check in video where I show you all the things going on. In my yarny world. Now you're where you're supposed to be. Tried to make that as smooth as possible. Forgot to warn you guys I was moving you. I don't think I moved you too quickly though. To everybody who's been coming back, thank you very much. Your support is very well appreciated. And to anybody who's been with me for a couple long time you might notice that i'm talking a little weirdly that is because i have imbibed this evening i've had a very interesting day in which ended in the imbibement of certain beverages so there we go I don't judge you. I ask you not to judge me. Okay. So, what is up? What have I been working on? What in the world? Also, in this video is going to be the announced of the winner of the raffle from last week. Stay tuned for that. I have finished the Red Heart Heart Throb Blanket. That is what this pattern is called. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. It comes with its own chart. I did not follow the chart. I made up my own thing. It is called the Red Heart, not because that's the yarn that's being used, but because this is a red heart inside of a heart. Who'd have thought? Um, it is a corner-to-corner -corner construction, and it is not for beginners. <laughs> okay? Um, so, things that I learned while making this blanket was how to read a chart diagonally because that's the way you have to read a chart when you do a corner to corner blanket and the other thing I learned doing this blanket is if you are doing a graph GAN which is what this is where you have a graph that eventually makes a picture, do not be afraid to cut your yarn. Yes, it means you have a million and one ends to weave in, but it means your end product looks better and cleaner. The only other thing I wish I had done differently is when I made the innermost part of this heart. By the way, I will be posting a full picture spread on my community tab because trying to fit this whole thing into frame is a nightmare. I'm not going to even try. Um, I did a two square tab and that was just a little too thin. Um, I will i do think i want to try to make this a uh, particular project again only with maybe three or four squares it there might be some experimentation with that by the way the white is just red heart white the other color i found a label mostly intact, which you know is a miracle 
in my house. It is Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in the colorway Sutherland Stripe. I will hold that up for a moment in case you want to write that down or make a note. Um, I don't remember how many skeins I ordered. Um, or what size. This is the band from a Super Saver, which is only 236 yards. I know I had at least two of the Jumbo, which is twice as much. Now, when you access the pattern on Yarnspirations, which I will be including that link, it gives you the amount of red heart yarn you need. But if you look, you've got four different colors here. Pink, dark pink, light pink, red, and white. So to determine how much Sutherland stripe I needed, I added the pink, dark pink, light pink, red, and I believe a third of the white. I did have some left over. This is basically what I did with it. There's another like little tiny ball hanging out in my scraps box, but that's it, buddy. One adult size half double crochet beanie with a white stripe and like a little tiny ball. I don't even see my box. Somebody has been messing with my stuff. Story of my life. Well, um, by the way, if you are new here, I am autistic ADHD. My children are autistic ADHD. So when I say people move stuff, I don't just mean other people. I mean myself included. I'm going to take a second and pick the winner of the raffle before I forget. Speaking of which, I'm going to turn down the light brightness on my phone so you guys can read it. Here's the comment picker. I've got everything loaded in already. So you all don't have to wait too long. And yes, I'm hiding this in the middle so you have to actually watch the video because, you know, video watch hours are a thing for us YouTubers. All right, I'm gonna press the button. I said I'm gonna press the button. Nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? Get YouTube comments. I have to hit that button first. Amount of unique comments is eight. It's pretty good for one of my videos, considering. Now I'll hit the button. I said I hit the button. I cannot read backwards. I cannot read that name. <laughs> I'm not going to even try. If that is you, you said... Happy anniversary, Becca. Which anniversary was the secret word? Thank you. My sister is a fan of your channel. Aw. And she got me subscribed too. Awesome for both of you. I hope you enjoy um, my channel. I think you're a newer subscriber then. So I'm just going to ask you to email me. We're going to go through a small verification process. And then I will email you the... Amazon gift card code and hopefully there will be no shenanigans on with the other projects so the other thing I've been working on is a variation on the pattern that I did in this yarn previously which is the Twinkle and Spark Cowl. I can't remember who it's by. Um, 
and that's not just because I've been imbibing. That is like, again, if you've been here for any length of time, you know, me and names, we do not jive. But I will link that pattern down below. Um, I'm trying to change the pattern just a, a little bit and turn it into a hat. I am starting to wonder about my life choices when I bought this yarn because this yarn came pre-caked for me and I feel like I maybe should have taken it apart and re-caked it. <laughs> uh, the cow is up high in this box right here and I don't feel like digging it out. But the color choices in which they came does not make sense to my brain. Um, but I will be doing uh, a variation on my square hat, which um, I will try to link the video. It's an older video, so I don't know if I'll be able to find it. If I'm able to find it and link it, there'll be a little icon. Um, that was really back in the day. So I'm, I, you know, if I can't find it, I actually just might remake the video, to be honest. Which actually leads me to one of my questions for tonight. So, uh... You know, you watch my videos all the things Thursday. I used to have a segment on Mondays called Merry Making Mondays. And it was a tutorial-based thing. But not a whole lot of people watched it, so I dropped it. Um, if I were to bring back a second video I do think it would not be weekly because again I I'm a stay-at-home mom and that's a lot of work in and of itself guys like that's part of the reason I had a bad day today um hashtag mom guilt that's all I have to say um but I think my goal would be maybe every other Monday. I just don't know what to call the segment because I would not want to get it confused with the tutorials. And I also don't know what that content would be. I do have a couple of videos that I have recorded that I would like to share with you. One of them is a small tutorial regarding the stitch inside this pattern. It is not the whole pattern because that would be copyright infringement. But this particular stitch, which is known as the bow stitch, is a little bit difficult. So, let me know if that's something you would be interested in. And if so, your opinion on what to call it. Other whips. Um, I don't remember when I started this one. So, a lot of my pants don't have pockets. Instead of going through the trouble of sewing on pockets, because I don't know my way around a sewing machine, let's be honest, I decided to make a, a phone carrier um, out of rainbow sparkle yarn. Nobody is surprised. What I have been working on is the handle. It looks long, but when you fold it in half, it's, we're getting there. I'm almost done with the scrap of yarn I am using. Um, there are plenty of yarns that have a yarn like this. Uh, Red Heart has one. I think it's called Red Heart Metallic. I believe it is called Snow. If it is not Red Heart that is called Snow, it's I Love This Yarn also metallic and it's called snow 
Um, I also believe Karen Simply Soft has one. <laughs> like, and it's just called white. Like, you can find white yarn that is acrylic with a iridescent sparkle no matter what your yarn preference is. Uh, the stitch I'm using is a thermal stitch, um, which, ironically, I learned off of another YouTuber. Don't remember which one, because that was a thousand years ago. Exaggeration. But anyway, um, as soon as I basically reach the end of this yarn. I I have a feeling that won't be enough. So I might go, uh, go diving in my scrap bin and see if I have more of this. If I don't in the scrap bin, I know I have a full skein of this somewhere in my stash. I would like this to be a crossbody bag where it lands at my hip. Um, and because it is rainbow and sparkly hopefully it will not get lost like the other ones that i bought off of a website i said website you weirdo <laughs> sorry talking to <laughs> did it respond yes So, last but not least, has a little bit of a story attached to it. So, I finally got my act together. And one of the reasons you'll be seeing a whole lot more hats here is because um, I felt like for a long time that I have been led to make hats for the homeless outreach that is associated with my church. So, y'all may have seen this this last week. It is a wrap. On the other end of the yarn, I have started making a hat. And basically the thought is now for ever for every project I will try if I can to make a hat out of the same yarn using the same craft not necessarily the same pattern but the same craft so for example the original pattern for this was knit. I am knitting a hat. The original project for that yarn was crocheted. I am crocheting a hat. And the, jo the goal, excuse me, a little burp there, is that every month I have 10 or more hats that I'm giving to that outreach. Um, again, this is something I have felt, I have felt led to do. I'm, I have, I still have a blanket that I'm going to give Boggy Creek, and I still have one more blanket that is pretty close to be done for Boggy Creek. I don't have all the particulars for that. Please go visit She's Got Yarn. I believe her actual, like, nomenclature is She's Got Yarn too. I will link her. So, there we go. Goals for this week. The weather is getting quite cold around here. Amen. <laughs> so I will be wearing more pants. And like I said... Wait, no. I need... I have pants that don't have pockets. So I really need to get my cell phone holder 
done. I'd also like to get at least the knitted hat done. And if not done on the crocheted hat, significant progress. By the way, Halloween is next week. <laughs> I haven't made a single pumpkin ghost bat this year. And it makes me a little sad. But I have... pocket book, er, thingy, record, I've gotten more whips done than I have in a really long time. Now, I'm, I'm not counting the hats over here in the new, this is like big, big project cast on, because a hat takes, you know, an hour, two hours tops, That that doesn't count. I do have some Christmas gifts that I would like to get done. Like, I know somewhere in my whip pile. Oh my goodness, we're at 20 minutes. I will try to wrap this up, I promise. Um, is the friend's couch that I started making for my mother a million years ago. I'd like to get that done. Um, I don't even know where that book is, though. So that might be a little hard. But, next Saturday, we're going to be going through the storage unit, so hopefully I can find it there. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to be seeing some hats and some Christmas gifts. There's an axolotl for my roommate's uh, little boy. I don't want, I, I don't know what to make for the other little boy, if anything. He might get a store-bought gift, let's be honest. Um, both of my kids are getting store-bought gifts. The only one I still haven't bought for is my new sister-in-law. But that's because I know her like a hole in the wall. So there you go. Alright, that's enough of me blathering on. If you liked this video, despite me being slightly influenced, please like, hit the like button down below. Especially if you're a subscriber and you would like to stay subscribed so that those YouTube or evil overloads won't unsubscribe you against your will. Feel free to comment down below. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We're crazy and kooky and all the things not spooky. Again, trying not to get demonetized. Demonetized. <laughs> not like I'm monetized to begin with. <laughs> and if you really like this channel because I am just the weirdest thing since sliced bread, please share these videos and help this channel grow. In the meantime, make what makes you merry. Ciao.